Hi everybody, I'm Dana Scheider, and in this video I'm going to tell you about the number line. If you know how to count, you'll be able to understand the concept of a number line just fine. If you've watched my previous video about natural numbers and whole numbers, you're ahead of the game. At some point you may have made a timeline, and if you have, then you've already worked with a number line. If not, don't worry, you still have everything you need to understand the number line. If you're starting to learn pre-algebra, you've probably been thinking about numbers in terms of amounts of things. Three apples, twelve kids, half a pizza, that kind of thing. In algebra, you'll be working with situations where numbers don't necessarily have to do with things like these that you can touch or count. So you'll need to learn to think about numbers a little differently. The number line is one real simple tool you can use to start thinking about numbers in this new way. Let's start with the basics. The number line is a horizontal line like the one on the screen here. We're going to put a little vertical line here on the left side of the line, and we're going to call that zero. Now, we can add more vertical lines to the right of zero, and label them one, two, three, and so on. Notice that the further we go to the right, the bigger the numbers get. So on the number line, Small numbers are on the left, and large numbers are on the right. If you've watched my video about natural numbers and whole numbers, which I recommend doing, you'll see that the numbers on the number line here are all whole numbers, but they don't have to be. Let's take a number that's not a whole number, like two and a half. Two and a half is on the number line two, right here, between two and three, because two and a half is bigger than two, but not as big as three. So the number line is basically a horizontal list of all numbers, from smallest to largest. So if you look at the number line, you can see that as you move to the right, numbers get larger. If you start on the right and move to the left, the numbers get smaller. This is going to be really useful because you can use it to add and subtract, which I'll explain in my next video. So that's all there is to the number line. I hope this explanation is helpful, and I will answer any questions you ask in the comments section, so please do go ahead and ask anything you're still wondering about. I'm going to be putting up more math videos like this, and the next one is going to be about adding and subtracting using the number line. So if this is helpful for you, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.